What up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back to another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the covers of Charisma.com's album I Doro C. Alright, let's begin with the regular edition version of the album cover. Alright, so here it kind of has like a monochrome coloration with it, but you also see like the variation of colors with the, um, I guess, looks like they're wearing bushes on their head or either like some really elaborate hat. Big and elaborate. <clears throat> and I'm like, okay, this is kind of like, you know, a bit, well, you know, very avant-garde, you know, very edgy. You know, <clears throat> and their head, you know, headpieces are in the shape of a heart, you know, in the shape of hearts, it looks like. So I'm guessing maybe they love colorful flowers, perhaps. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it is symbolic of something, but I don't know, quite know how to interpret the symbolism. Um, it looks like they're wearing sort of like Victorian era clothing in this photo as well. Um, and the lady with the glasses looks like she's wearing like a sling for her arm. Like maybe she sprained her arm or broke it. Hmm. Um, their facial expressions aren't really expressive. And... I'm not quite sure what they're trying to portray with their facial expressions. Maybe like too cool to care um, or lackadaisical. I'm not sure. Personally, I think that I think while the headpieces are interesting, I think they might be a bit too distracting. But on the other hand, I think they do give the photo some life because. Imagine the photo without the headpiece. You know? Imagine the photo without the headpieces. This photo would be very bland, you know, very lifeless. <clears throat> so I don't know if this was added, um, you know, through like Photoshop. Or they took the picture with this, you know, with the headpieces on. But ultimately, I think that the headpieces ultimately help the photo, but they are, you know, you know, attention grabbing, you know. But then again, since this is a single cover, that's what you want. Um, but I think perhaps it might be a bit too avant-garde, maybe a little bit too edgy for an album cover. <clears throat> yeah. And by the way, I apologize. Um, I meant to say album cover, not single cover. But yeah, I think this might be a bit too edgy for a album cover. Um, but I could imagine this being like in maybe some fashion magazine, some high-end fashion magazine though. Um, I think, hmm... I think that this photo, I think that definitely the lady with the glasses is the stronger of the two in the photo. I think she's working it uh, much better, I guess because she is directly toward camera while the other girl is facing away toward camera, well, away from the camera. And also her body language is a bit weird and she's placed in the back as well. <clears throat> so I believe that the lady with the glasses is the stronger figure, you know, stronger person in this um, particular photo. However, I think that the um, the lady on the right has the better headpiece because it doesn't totally um, take over her face. You can still see some of her face while the other lady with the glasses, her headpiece probably is a bit, a little bit too much. But let's move on to the next album cover. 
The next album cover is the album cover for the Tower, the Tower Records edition of the album. And this photo, if you take away the human heart, this photo would work much better for me. But um, with the human heart there, it sort of looks creepy, you know? It looks like, you know, they're like a duo of serial killers or something. You know, a duo of murderers. And she has a smile on her face while holding the human heart. So it's like, you know, she's looking like she's crazy. And the other lady, she is just staring blankly. You know, with a really um, serious slash emotionless look. And she has like a mustache for some reason. Um, so yeah, and their hair is red for some reason this time around. Um, I guess they wanted to change up their hair color for some reason. I guess uh, maybe they dyed their hair red with the blood from their victims. I don't know. <clears throat> um their white clothing is interesting again. Um, you know, um, I think for some people, many people view kind of like a white room as death and they look like they're in a white room with someone's heart. So perhaps this is symbolic of death maybe? But I don't, I don't know. I feel like that would be a bit too deep to do for a album cover. But I don't know, you know, what they were trying to portray with this album cover exactly. Um, the human heart thing, that makes it look creepy, you know. That, you know, it's kind of strange how little um, details could, you know, change the overall picture, you know, or change the overall way people view a picture. But let's move on to the final photo. The final photo is the promotional photo. And this photo, it looks like, okay, they are, I don't know what exactly they're trying to portray. Like, they're a man and woman, but they're two women. Or maybe she's like, she is the, um, she plays the masculine role and she plays the feminine role. You know, the lady with the mustache plays the masculine role and then the lady with the um, headphones um, plays the feminine role. I'm not sure what the dynamic of their relationship is. I don't. I'm not sure. I assume they're both heterosexual females, but I don't know. Um, and no judgment, by the way. But I'm just saying, I just don't know. <clears throat> I like the earring of the lady with the mustache, although she's missing the other one. Um, but I guess one earring kind of works for some reason in this photo. Again, like she got one earring, which um, some dudes do. Then she got a mustache. Um, and she is holding a microphone, which could be um, symbolic or representative of, you know, male genitalia. <clears throat> Let's see. The... You know, the lady with the headphones, um, I think the headphones were a good touch. However, the little flower piece on her head might be a bit too much, you know. Um, sometimes less is more. So either she did the, so either she should choose the flower piece or the headphones, but not both, you know. And also she, they're both staring blankly for some reason. Um... You know, it's kind of like a blank stare. Kind of like lacking emotion, lacking life, lacking vitality. I don't know why, you know. And again, um, I think I already mentioned it, but their outfits are interesting, you know. <clears throat> and the hair color is um, an interesting look as well, you know. 
I'm not usually used to seeing um, Japanese women with like, you know, Kool Aid red um, hair. <clears throat> but more power to them. More power to them. All right, so let me tell you how I rank these photos. I rank the promotional photo as the best photo. Um, and I think this is the best photo because um, it's not too edgy or avant-garde. And it's not too creepy. You know, The second best photo would be the regular edition version of the album cover. And I do like the the idea of the edginess and the avant-gardeness. Um, I do, more or less, I do like the result as well. Um, you know, more or less, you know, the result is okay. Um, but I think this might be a bit too edgy and avant-garde for maybe an album cover. But um, it is a interesting photo and it does capture your attention. I will give it that. Um, and the third best photo is the Tower Record ed Records Edition version of the album cover. Um, for me, I wish to if they replaced the human heart with something else. Um, you know, something else that's a bit more inviting and a bit less creepy than this would work, or either just not have anything there at all. This photo could work as well. Um, but the human heart thing kind of creeps me out. It's a little creepy, you know? And it's like, what are you guys? Murderers? Serial killers? You know? Who knows? But what do you guys think? Feel free to let me know. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumb, a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. And to the next photo analysis, adios and goodbye for now.